Hello, I'm Ian Gillam, Subject Officer for ICT and Computer Science, and I'm here today to tell you about our new EDUCAS specification in AS and A-level Computer Science. For England, for first teaching from 2015 and first award in 2016 for AS and 2017 for A-level. EDUCAS is the new brand from WJEC to provide reformed GCSE and A-level qualifications in England. The decoupling of the AS and A-level qualifications means that the AS is now a standalone qualification, which means that it no longer contributes to the A-level grade. However, this qualification is designed to be co-teachable, meaning that students studying for A-level and AS can be taught together in class as all content in the AS is also resident in the A-level. Most A-level computer science specifications are quite similar due to the demands of the national subject criteria. So what makes EDUCAS different? There is a philosophy at EDUCAS which we believe benefits the learner. The learner comes first. There are no tricks in the exam or in the way that they are marked. Mark schemes are detailed, but are not over-prescriptive and allow a degree of flexibility. Marking teams are small, and there is a face-to-face -face examiner's conference for each examination paper and a face-to-face -face moderator's conference for the coursework. EDICAS provides a more personal touch, providing timely feedback by a specialist subject officer. Examination papers are designed by very experienced teachers who are also senior examiners and specification developers. The new EDICAS Computer Science A-Level consists of three components, two examined components and one coursework task. Each examined component will be examined in two hours and 45 minutes, and the two examined components are equally weighted at 40%. The coursework component has a lower weighting at 20%, which is the maximum permissible under regulatory requirements. Component 1, Programming and System Development, focuses on programs and their function. Writing, debugging and amending algorithms, the use of logic in programming, different methodologies of programming, and the increasing impact of computer science on today's society. Mathematical content underpins this component and requires learners to utilise Boolean algebra and propositional logic to solve problems and to calculate the efficiency of algorithms using big O notation. This component is intended to provide a sound understanding of programming and skills essential to writing programs. This component is assessed in 2 hours 45 minutes, forms 40% of the A-level qualification, all questions are compulsory and contain a mix of short answer, structured, problem solving, short open response and extended response questions and is answered in an unconstrained examination booklet. Component 2, Computer Architecture, Communication and Applications, focuses on contemporary computer architecture and variations in its deployment. It allows study of the communication methods between computers from small to large scale. A variety of data representation is investigated, as is the storage of data in data structures, which leads to the study of the use of databases and the increasing use of big data. Again, programs and algorithms are studied but in this component are embedded within the study areas of data structures and cryptography. Software is explored in terms of system software and the use of specialist programs. The impact of computer science is included in this component, but here it is in technical terms through the lens of security and data integrity. This component is also assessed in two hours and 45 minutes, again forms 40% of the A-level qualification. All questions are again compulsory, and contain a mix of short answer, structured, problem solving, short open response and extended response questions and is answered in an unconstrained examination booklet. Broadly, component 1 is intended as the software component and component 2 as the hardware, although it is impossible to divorce the topics completely. Component 3 is intended to provide learners with an immersive extended task that allows learners to develop a solution to a problem of their choice, bringing together many of the skills learned in Component 1 and 2. This component with its discussion, prototyping and redevelopment phase, 
is designed to more closely resemble industry practice and emulate the process of iterative development rather than previous one-hit development. The approach taken removes the need for extraneous documentation and concentrates on the core processes involved in developing a programme. It recognises that quality feedback and evaluation leads to redevelopment, which reinforces that evaluation is a useful and necessary process that yields results and not merely something to do at the end of a project. This non-exam assessed component forms 20% of the qualification. The assessment objectives for A-level computer science consists of three key elements and learners are required to demonstrate these key objectives across all three components. The weighting of each objective varies across the components. For example, a greater emphasis is placed upon AO3, Design, Program and Evaluate Computer Systems, in Component 3. Here's an extract from a typical algorithm question from Component 1. An algorithm is provided, and learners are required to study the algorithm and respond. In this case, to a question that involves two assessment objectives. The mark scheme clearly indicates where the marks are to be allocated, and the assessment objectives allocated to each mark. The A and B in this example, and throughout the mark scheme, denote which element of each assessment objective is being assessed. For example, AO 1.1B denotes that the understanding strand of AO 1 is being assessed, and AO 2.1A denotes that the applying knowledge element of AO 2 is being assessed. Here is an example of a typical extended response question from component 1. In this question, one assessment objective is assessed. The assessment grid used for extended response questions of this type provides clear guidance on the qualities expected for answers at each of three mark bands. Naturally, this is complemented by indicative content, which is also provided to markers. The provision of both the grid and indicative content will provide a high degree of marking consistency. Within the component, mathematical questions related to computer science feature extensively of which this is one. The mark scheme provides clear guidance on the methods that can be used to arrive at a conclusion, although there is flexibility to award marks should learners choose a different route to obtain the correct answer. Question 1 from Component 2 provides another good example of a mathematical question that could be asked where AO2, application of knowledge and understanding, is used to arrive at the result. This question is combined with AO1, where learners must demonstrate understanding of the concepts that they have applied. Once again, the mark scheme clearly indicates the assessment objectives targeted and indicates where multiple routes can be used to arrive at a conclusion. Here is an example of a typical extended response question from Component 2. In this question, one assessment objective is assessed. Once again, we can see that there is a clear marking grid that indicates the qualities that are expected in a learner's response. The assessment grid dovetails with the indicative content to provide a clear indicator of what the examiner requires from the learner. Component 3, as mentioned earlier, is the non-exam assessment task. This forms 20% of the qualification and takes the form of an extended task. Learners have freedom in their choice of programming language and their choice of solution and is split into clearly demarcated sections of discussion, investigation, design, prototyping, refinement, software development, testing and evaluation. The prototyping and refinement phase, along with the discussion phase leading to initial design, are intended to re replicate an iterative development cycle. This task is assessed by the use of detailed mark grids 
available in the specification that clearly indicate the qualities expected in a learner's work at each band. The work is internally marked and a sample sent to EDICAS for moderation. The new EDICAS AS Computer Science is a freestanding but co-teachable qualification. The structure consists of two components. Component 1, Fundamentals of Computer Science, is marked out of 100, is weighted at 70% of the qualification, is assessed in a constrained examination booklet and has a duration of two hours. Component 2, Practical Programming to Solve Problems, consists of a series of tasks that are completed on screen by learners and will assess the practical application of knowledge and understanding. Component 2 will require learners to utilise one of three programming languages for some questions. This component is marked of 60 marks, has a weight of 30% of the AS qualification and a duration of 2 hours and 15 minutes. The AS content is drawn from components 1 and 2 at A level, with elements of component 2 at AS drawn from components 1, 2 and 3 at A level. Clearly, there's an increased emphasis on AO1 at AS, but an ability to design, program and evaluate at AO3 is still a key requirement. Question 10 requires demonstration of understanding and application of understanding and indicates the straightforward nature of questions in this component. As with the A-level, mark schemes are laid out clearly, with marks allocated to answers and assessment objectives unambiguously. Extended responses are also required, as indicated by question 10, which assesses two assessment objectives. These questions, as with the A-level, are marked in mark grids, with bands clearly describing the qualities required in an answer at each mark band. These mark bands again mesh with clear indicative content, providing a high degree of guidance to examiners and good marking accuracy. Component 2 comprises an overarching scenario to put the tasks in this component into context in a real-world setting. Question 2 is an example of a question that assesses two assessment objectives when dry-running and interpreting an algorithm. As with the other components, the mark scheme is clearly structured and displays the answers assigned to the marks unambiguously. This is again linked to the assessment objectives. Here is an example of a question requiring learners to write an algorithm. This question targets one assessment objective and assesses computational thinking. The mark scheme provides an example of a completed algorithm and the marking criteria clearly show the marks for each key area of the algorithm. This approach accommodates different approaches to writing algorithms that reach a correct solution. Questions in Component 2 will require learners to program in a live environment in one of Visual Basic, Python or Java. Here is an example of a question that requires a program to be developed for Visual Basic and is mirrored in the Java and Python questions. As can be seen here, there are three parts. For Part 1 requires an incomplete program to be finished. The program file will be supplied to senders for this task. Part 2 requires a program to be written from scratch to satisfy the requirements of the question. Part 3 requires learners to explain the design of their program by using remarks or comments in their code. These questions are band marked, with each band describing the qualities it required in the programs completed by the learner. Again, this meshes with the indicative content that identifies the key functionality required. This approach provides a flexible method of assessment and acknowledges that programs may take different routes to arrive at a solution. The administration of the course has been designed to be as simple as possible. A 
At A-level, component 1 and 2 are assessed via written examination papers. Component 3 is completed in the centre, marked by teachers with internal standardisation and authentication of work, and marks are submitted via YAMIS, EDUCAS's internal assessment mark input system. Samples are identified by the system, and work is submitted via electronic media. Optical media is preferred, for instance CD or DVD, as this is less susceptible to damage during transit than other methods. The sample of work is then moderated. At AS, the administration of the course has again been designed to be as simple as possible. At AS, Component 1 is assessed via a written examination paper. Component 2 is completed on screen and candidate files copied to individual candidate folders. The work is then copied to electronic media, again preferably optical, and sent to a designated examiner. This approach mitigates any problems that may occur with any complex system of loading work. As mentioned earlier, files will be supplied for the examination in advance of the exam so that they may be installed and tested on clean user accounts. Edicas are aware the teachers will need support and are currently developing resources that can be used to deliver the course in conjunction with several providers. An electronic and paper book is also in development and will be in place for first teaching. CPD is offered annually and can be booked via the EDICAS website. Should you have any questions, please contact me, Ian Gillam, or Claire Williams, the Subject Support Officer. Both email addresses are provided on the screen.